<laughs> Has there been a problem? <laughs> no. Well, has been none. Um, okay, everybody. Well, thank you very much for coming to this uh, historic occasion. Uh, I'm uh, Dave, and I'm the chair of the Friends of Lordship Wreck. Um, and we're very proud of our park, and we're very proud of the clouds that cross <laughs> over uh, our park, as you can tell. Um, and uh, we're very proud, obviously, of Luke Howard uh, as a local resident. Uh, and the work he did 200 odd years ago. In fact, you could probably say we're standing in his footsteps right here because I think this is the highest point in Tottenham and with the greatest vista I could imagine, but we don't know for sure that he would have come here to view the clouds as we are today. So uh, without any further ado, uh, who was going to speak first? Yeah, speak Lester, first. our Deputy Mayor of Haringey. Give him a round of applause. Yay! Thank you, thank you, Dave. Um, thank you very much. So, um, I am Lester and I am the uh, Deputy Mayor of uh, Haringey. Um, personally, it's quite an honour. I think I am the only scientist on council, so it's quite nice to be, although I'm a physicist, it's quite nice to be celebrating a chemist and a meteorologist uh, here and recognise the great work that um, a Tottenham resident uh, did and the impact that it still feels today, 250 years later, and a 250 years that kind of has changed our climate in such an extent. Uh, so, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to the, the friends, to the Tottenham, uh, Tottenham Clouds, and everyone here. Uh, and I'm going to hand over to... Helen, oh. <laughs> Helen, no, no, Helen. 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 Okay. Helen. OK, well, just thanks again for inviting me. It's such an honour to be here and on such a fantastic day and weekend. And, yeah, I mean, the sky's really playing ball, isn't it? And if anyone can um, identify a couple of these, there's a Matterhorn pen back in the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, and thanks for coming. Um, so... Um, on a very appropriately cloudy day, <laughs> um, we've got a great quantity of clouds today. I think yesterday we had a greater variety of clouds, but uh, in a much nicer weather to go with it. Um, my name's Nick, and I am Luke's great, 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 great grandson. So I don't know about you, but by the time you get to four times great, anybody of the same generation is a fifth cousin. Now, I don't know how many of you know your fifth cousins, no. but no, it doesn't happen in my family either. So I met a fourth cousin once removed yesterday for the same, for the very first time. Who, fifth cousin once removed yesterday, who is coincidentally also called Nick. And there's two other family members here. And we haven't worked out quite what the relationship is exactly yet. Probably fifth cousins, we think. Um, so, but yes, Luke was my... Mother's father's father's mother's father's father. <laughs> My mother, her maiden name was Penelope Howard Fox. She was the daughter of Lloyd Howard Fox, son of John Howard Fox, son of Sarah Maria Howard, daughter of John Elliot Howard, son of Luke Howard. Well, so the ha name Howard was preserved in every single generation of the family until they got to me. <laughs> um, 1960s, they did away with such nice conventions and such niceties. But no, Luke, we as a family, yes, certainly my branch of the family, and I know yours as well, because you still have the name Howard in your family too, um, has been very proud of, of Luke as an ancestor. Um, I mean, it's the only reason I am here um, speaking and not one of my relatives is because I live just about quarter of a mile the other side of Broadwater Farm so this is sort of my local park and as such it is entirely a coincidence that I happened to move to Tottenham when I did but uh, yes it's a very happy coincidence. Um, I've been asked to read a very short thing from the International Association for Urban Climates which is in your little Thing, but it was a piece that they wrote specially for today. The genius of Luke Howard's cloud classification scheme is that it provides a visual description of cloud types that are universally recognisable and linked to underlying atmospheric process. The same evidence is, pr 
The same intellect is evident in the pages of Climate of London, where Howard's rigorous approach to measurement and analysis revealed the urban heat island phenomenon and its causes. For this reason, Luke Howard is recognised by the International Association for Ur Urban Climates as the father of ur urban climate science. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I think it's, it's say, one, yeah. say who you are again. Just, yeah. <laughs> just very briefly. We've already forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> For those with short memories, uh, I'm Richard Hamden. I wrote uh, a book on, on Luke Howard, and it, I think it's wonderful that we're standing here in a part of London that Luke Howard knew very well. He would have come up this road, up, up the hill onto the green space, very often, I think, to look at the uh, clouds. He lived not far from here on Bruce Grove for the last 12 years of his life. I think it's extraordinary that we're remembering the naming of clouds, which he started really in the early 19th century. He knew that it would go on for much longer than his lifetime. I think he could never have imagined that we would still be naming clouds 250 years after his birth, and that we'd be naming them using the system that he laid down all those years ago, just because he was asked to give a talk at an amateur science club back in December 1802. 230 years, after, 230 years after that, we're all standing here remembering the names of the clouds that Luke Howard gave us, and also the names of the clouds that are yet to come. And we can all raise an eyebrow for Gavin's latest about <laughs> supercilious. And think about Luke, the legacy of Luke Howard in the, today, but also into the future. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, as uh, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society, I would like hereby to um, officially launch and open and recognise Lordship Rec as the world's first official Cloud Appreciation Park. Was so, it, was I have David to say, well, no, Margaret. How did it happen? this all happened because about eight years ago I, went, I visited a beach in Norfolk <laughs> and uh, I discovered they had a cloud appreciation site on the beach. Uh, and I thought, well, there must be hundreds of these all over the world. Um, and when I contacted the cloud appreciation site, that was the only one. Yeah. And actually, eight years ago, we, would, we tried to design some things and I don't know, we kind of ran out of steam. It never happened, but now with the Luke Howard angle at 250, we thought we'd resurrect those attempts. Joan from the Friends of Lord Chipwreck designed this magnificent interpretation. And uh, we fundraised for it uh, and all these events from different sources. We had donations, we had crowdfunding, we had grants uh, for the weather station and so on. So anyway, it's a good collective effort all round and you're all invited back to the hub. Don't uh, forget Margaret. Don't. <laughs> oh, Margaret from Tottenham Clouds. We've all worked together under the umbrella of Tottenham Clouds to make this happen. So thank you very much. Come back to the hub. There's a uh, cloud selector. Uh, things for sale, yeah. uh, cups of tea, and then we're going to show this amazing film, The Age of Stupid, about modern climate change issues and how we